Natron is a powerful digital 2D and a 2.5D compositor. Its robust open image I.O. power format and open FX architecture is what makes Natron the most flexible open source compositor for the visual effect community. Natron functions on Mac, Linux, and Windows with the same user interface and same functions. If you need a software to play around with in order to get a deeper understanding of what compositing is, then kindly start from Natron, especially if you have no money to spend on any software or your main goal is to become a new user one day. Some of the features Natron has over other compositors that still draws people to it are 1. It has a cache system so you can easily hit play and see your work in motion. 2. All effects like mask, gradient, etc have viewer widgets so you can adjust them in the viewer instead of changing numerical values in notes. 3. It's OpenFX compatible so you can use commercial plugins like Real Smart Motion Blur, Fresh Lab, Lenscare, yeah, etc. 4. It has many community groups available, the likes of JMic filters and a shader toy node that allows its users to create their own effects using shader coding. And 5. Similar effects in Blender can also be found in Natron, but with Natron, you get much more options, mainly because parameters aren't in the node itself, but in a dedicated tuba. All I'm trying to say is Natron is much advanced than Blender. Natron is a copy and paste of Nuke smashed with an open source feature, which is a big brainer from its developers, by the way. Every Nuke user can just download Natron and start using it right away without any tutorials. Same way any Natron user can also download Nuke and use it right away. But there is a little bit of a difference to it because Nuke is really packed with more tools and features so you might have to learn some more or take some classes online. I would say Natron covers maybe 60 to 70 percent of Nuke. So you aren't in a bad position if you are using Natron with future plans of becoming a new user. Natron had a lot of hype behind it as it promised to bring commercial grade compositing for the first world. Unfortunately, the development was powered mainly by a couple of developers with little to no funding to keep it going. Natron users should keep in mind that they are going to encounter bugs and stability issues, a problem that hasn't been fixed for a very long time. No update to bug fixing nothing personally i think the software has been abandoned by its developers neutron is powerful but stuck at the moment and i wouldn't recommend it to anyone who works on bigger projects you get no help just a quiet number of tutorials online and no news from them to keep their audience alive and hopeful at this moment i would still say Natron is still in the game and that shows how good their developers were even blender still has some more work to do in order to catch up with Natron. Natron software is more like a street kid, an abandoned street kid, can't find its owners. Now for newbies who want to learn compositing and take it to the next level, this is my unbiased final judgment. Natron shares similar features with Nuke and maybe Blackmagic Fusion. What I mean is a Natron user can download Fusion or Nuke and wouldn't have any struggle using it, which is a good thing. Like I said in my comparison video. If you have future plans of becoming a Nuke compositor, then Natron is a good start. Nuke is the ultimate industry's standard compositor. You can work in any production house across the world if you use Nuke, which puts Natron users in a very good, hopeful spot since they can just purchase a Nuke license, study a little bit about Nuke and start work right away. Now this isn't part of my video, but let me say this. Ambitious compositors wouldn't start with Blender. For the most part, Blender lacks a lot of compositing features and is very different from Natron, which means if you want to take compositing seriously, then you might have to look at something that can take you on the long run. And the only software that can do that is Natron or Fusion. I wouldn't add After Effects because there are many plugins an After Effects user would need in order to be able to function effectively in a professional setting, which I'm not ready to dive into right now, so let's ignore that one. Now to people who compose it in Blender, I get the fact that Blender is almost a complete suit, but don't allow that to deceive you. You should learn how to run your project through multiple softwares. One software can't make everything perfect for you, not even DaVinci Resolve. Same thing with Blender, you can't have 
everything for free that's why i keep telling people make some money and start purchasing software licenses it's really good i think i've spoken too much use natron for free learn more become a professional make some money and purchase nuke or fusion don't try to cheat the system by trying to use natron your entire life it wouldn't get you anywhere so it's incumbent on you to make your own progress anyways i just hope we receive good news from natron developers someday but as it stands now don't throw any high budget project into natron i can only advise beginners who want to learn compositing at their own free time freelancers who would enjoy working on personal to small skilled projects and people who have dreams of using nuke someday to learn natron if you don't fall within this categories of people then natron is not worth the time if you love this video then a sub to the channel will be very much nature night nature